Hello and welcome to the Yosemite Server Backup video tutorial series. In this video we're going to walk through configuring the Yosemite Server Backup VMware ESX agent. In order for the Yosemite VMware agent to work, we need to have an ESX license for VMware. The VMware free license won't work. We actually need the vStorage APIs in order to connect to your VMware hosts and back your guests up. So let's begin by looking at a VMware host just to confirm that we have the appropriate license applied to allow the Yosemite Server Backup agent to work. So here's one of our VMware hosts. And if we come into the configuration page and then licensed features, you can see right here we have the storage APIs for VMware. As long as we have those storage APIs, we'll be able to configure this agent pointed to our VMware host and allow us to back up the guests as a component of a Yosemite server backup backup job. So now that we've confirmed that we have the appropriate VMware license, let's hop into the Yosemite administrator and set up our agent. So here's our administrator on the tasks page. We're going to set up this agent by selecting advanced and then network. And now we have to pick the proxy server for the agent. This is just one of the machines in our backup domain that is going to be the point of communication with our VMware host. For this video, we're going to use Matt PC to act as that proxy. So we're going to highlight the VMware agent here and then select Enable. This will bring up the properties page of our VMware agent. First thing we're going to do is place a check in the box to enable the Yosemite Server Backup VMware ESX agent. Then we're going to provide the hostname or IP and username and password of our VMware host. Once we provide the address and credentials for our host and select test connections, we're immediately greeted with a pop-up that says the VMware vSphere Power CLI is not installed on this system. And the CLI is just the command line PowerShell tool that we use to actually talk to those hosts. So let's go ahead and get that installed and set up. Okay, so now we're on the VMware page. Uh, you do need to have a user and log in to download even their free resources. I've gone ahead and logged in, and I'm here on the Download VMware vSphere Power CLI page. This is a, a free piece of software that even if you're using a free license, you have the ability to download. There's no cost associated with the vSphere Power CLI. So I'm going to select Download, and I've actually already downloaded it, so we'll hop immediately from here over to running the install. So now you can see here on the desktop I have the installer for PowerCLI. Double click that and then select run. And then we get our install shield wizard that will pop up and the installation begins. We're just going to install with all default options here. All right, and there's the completion of the install. We'll select finish. And now we'll come back to the Yosemite Administrator and enable the agent. So again, we'll just highlight the agent, select Enable, and one more time through the process of checking the box to enable the agent, supplying the address, the username, and the password. And this time when we test connections, you can see that the agent comes back with the green check mark, verifying that it was able to connect to the VMware host. There's one other field on this page, which is the working directory. Our agent works by calling for a snapshot of the selected guest machine and then pushing the VMDKs associated with that machine out to the staging directory in series before they're written to our backup target. Since we staged the VMDKs serially, we need to be sure that the working directory has at least as much space available as the largest of the VMDKs associated with the guest we're backing up. We can modify the path here from the default, which is the Yosemite Server Backup temp directory, to any directory we want on our domain. Once we have those options configured, we can go ahead and just apply and OK here. And now you can see if we expand the agent, we have our host that we'd specified. And if we give this a moment to enumerate that host, we'll see all the guests available in the right-hand pane. And there are our guest machines. And just to verify, we can always pull our host back up here uh, in vSphere. And you can see the listing there corresponds identically to the list as it's presented in vSphere. 
So now that we have the agent configured, in one of our backup jobs, we can select either the entire host or individual guests from that host to be included in the selection list for our backup jobs. So we've achieved everything we set out to accomplish in this video tutorial. We started by attempting to enable the ESX agent. Yosemite informed us we needed to first install the VMware Power CLI. We went ahead and did that, then reconfigured the agent, and were able to successfully enumerate the host and all of the guest machines that were tied to that host. So they're now selectable for backup within the context of a backup job. Thanks, and stay tuned for future videos in the Yosemite Server Backup video tutorial series.